Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'd like to start by saying thank you for all the views and subscriptions I have already. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking for more style and fashion related stuff, which as work I am a stylist, that's my job, so that will be coming, I promise. But first of all, I have a few videos that um, are kind of based on questions I've been asked on my Instagram. So I'm going to get them out of the way and then I'll be straight back onto the fashion, fashion hauls, lookbooks, you know, all that kind of stuff. Today's video is all about my basic skincare routine. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me about it on Instagram, um, which is great, thank you, you think I have good skin. I by no means have perfect skin, um, filters are great at kind of hiding any blemishes, but I have struggled with bad skin before, and I have found a routine that really works for me and has massively improved the condition of my skin. So prior to working in the fashion industry, I worked with quite a few cosmetic companies, and these are products that I have found along the way that have worked for my oily skin. So I will be mainly talking about oily skin, but if you have dry or combination skin, then still take note, because these are still three really simple steps you should be doing morning and evening. All the products I'm using today are from Lush. I've been using this brand for years, so I know they work great for my skin. The first step is to cleanse. Now, my favorite cleanser is Coalface. It contains charcoal, which lifts out impurities as well as gently exfoliating the skin. And the rosewood oil acts as a great anti-inflammatory to help combat spots and redness. With wet hands, I lather up the cleanser and gently massage into my wet skin. Cleansing is important to remove any dirt and impurities and unclogs pores, so make sure you're cleansing your whole face. Remove any cleanser with a splash of water, then I take my muslin cloth and in a circular motion I gently buff my skin. This is going to boost the blood circulation to my skin which helps even out my skin tone. And then I pat dry my face with a towel. I pat because skin is so sensitive and should never be rubbed. The next step is to tone. Now I use tea tree water because it's antibacterial so it can keep away the bacteria that causes spots and also has healing properties. So all I do is spray a generous amount of toner onto a cotton pad and apply gently to the skin. The skin around your eyes is extremely delicate so just pat lightly in this area. Now toning is important to remove any excess cleanser as well as restoring the natural pH balance into your skin. Avoid toners that contain a lot of alcohol as these can be really harsh and if it stings then it's no good. Final step is to moisturise. Vanishing Cream contains lavender, neroli and geranium oils which help to balance the skin. It's very lightweight and doesn't leave a residue which is really good for my oily skin. I like to use a small amount and then I pat the moisturiser into my skin to make sure all the ingredients is absorbed. Again, be extra delicate around your eye area. Moisturising is extremely important even for oily skin. So if you do have oily skin, look for a light and more water-based texture. But if you have dry skin, look for a moisturiser with a rich consistency and both should contain a low SPF. So there we have my basic skincare routine. Like anything good, you have to give it time before you start seeing the difference. So give it about two weeks and I promise you will start seeing some great differences in your skin. If you have any products that you swear by and you think I should try out, please leave them for me in the comments down below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you next week.